I found the best home screen launcher for the genuinely hardcore digital minimalist. You've got to check this out. Hello fellow data overhaulers. Thank you for joining me as we break down everyday tech and help you get control of your online data. This video is part of a multi-part series of reviews where we're taking a look at alternative Android launchers or home screens for the digital minimalist and those who want to take back a little bit of their privacy. I've been researching ways to slim down the amount of time I use my smartphone, sort of a digital detox. I came across a hidden Android launcher and I have to tell you that any truly dedicated minimalist will love Slim Launcher. Let's take a look at the experience. When you first launch Slim Launcher, you're presented with a non-distracting single panel home screen. Tapping the clock launches your default clock app. Tapping the day t launches your calendar. Tapping the phone launches your default dialer. And of course, tapping the camera will launch your camera. There is no app drawer. Swiping up from the bottom, you only are presented with an options link. The main goal of Slim Launcher is to encourage you to be off the smartphone. You can select up to seven of your apps to be displayed on the main screen. You click on Customize Apps, and you can begin to, to add them. For example, we'll add, let's see, an audio recorder, um, my password manager, a calculator, my email, let's see, so let's add some other ones. Um, notes app, and let's say uh, maps, and how about text messaging? And you'll notice here, my, I can no longer add any more apps. When I go to the home screen, the first f four are presented to me as a quick way to get into those particular apps. If I swipe up, I can see the remaining three, but that's it. The only way to get to the remainder of the apps is to swap these out as needed. I can even go into options, customize apps, and rename these. So for example, let's say I want to call Bitwarden um, passwords, more simply passwords, or my email client, I want to just name it email. Okay, going back to the home screen, I have a more generic name for each one of the apps I've displayed. There are not that many more options for this particular launcher. You have the ability to switch the theme to something like an, a different color that may suit your liking. I prefer, I prefer to use Midnight which gives me the power savings and higher visibility of the items. You can toggle the status bar to make sure it hides unless you need it. And you can also choose the time format displayed on the home screen. So it's now 1724. This home screen is designed to be less distracting and to ensure that you stay focused on things in real life. So what do you think of this hardcore home screen? Is it a bit too restrictive, or is it the perfect way to detox from an internet-induced digital dopamine dependency? Tell me what you think in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.